Another thing that is helpful when you're trying to make a fire in the snow is get whatever this thing's called. It's a garden tool. It digs, so it makes it really easy because it's not solid. It's just like a claw. You can dig out a bit of the snow because you're going to want, pretend those yellow bits of snow, you're going to want to kind of have a round-ish area. You do not have to dig, at least here, you don't have to dig all the way to the ground. The snow is really absorbent here. When anything melts, it's going to just, the snow is just going to absorb the water. So you just need to dig out a bit because if it's windy, what you want basically is you want a round bit and then snow kind of above it so it blocks the wind and then you still have an area for the snow. And so this will help you dig out if the snow is a little bit crunchy and there's a little bit of ice. This will help you dig and then you don't have to take your gloves off, which I found out. I wasn't prepared. I didn't think about it. Um, the last time I went and I had to take my gloves off because I was digging with my hands and I couldn't with my gloves on really. My hands were so cold and they were cold. I didn't get frostbite. It wasn't that cold, but my hands were freezing um, because I had to have my gloves off for about 20 minutes digging in the snow because the snow was kind of hard underneath and then there was a little bit of powder on top so it was a little bit difficult to dig out so today I went and got this if you have one in your garden that's cool I didn't have one so that's gonna work and see our fire starter it's kind of and what you're gonna do is you're just kind of oh, getting that all my hands you're just gonna pull that out when you get to your fire but but this little container thing whatever shape you have is gonna be so you can carry it with you. Actually, in this tin is also a, something similar. A different one, not this one, would be great to put your matches into. I forgot to get to. So then you just have this tin, and it's really compact, and it's not gonna squish. Same reason you want to put matches in something like this. And then put it in a plastic bag, just in case. So. None of that leaks out. It shouldn't leak because that's why you've put the, the wax there and plus you used cotton, which is really absorbent. But you used cotton material and didn't waste cotton balls, which I think is not environmentally best practice. Can I get the lid off? I know, you guys should be paying me so much for my incredibly techno videos, hey. So anyway, <coughs> uh, I have a cold today. Anyway, so you, see, this is perfect. <coughs> You've got your fire starter, got your digger, and I'm gonna bring some blankets. And anyway, I'm gonna make a video soon, I'm making an actual literal fire. If it snows anytime again soon, it hasn't snowed a lot this winter. And of course, the one day that I went out the other on the weekend to make a fire. It was a little difficult because it was snowy and windy and cold and it was kind of a little bit wet, but dry. So this time I'm going to be more prepared then I can actually make a video and show you how easy it is usually to make a fire, even when it's snowy. Okay. 